Hi guys, it's Shai and I'm back at it again with another video and for today's video, I am going to share my tips for pharmacy students out there at ito sana yung mga tips na sana, sana, natutunan ko before I embarked on my pharmacy journey three years ago. At naisip ko rin kasi na August na start na ng pasukan in different colleges and universities. So might as well also share the tips that helped me. At sana nalaman ko ng mga panahon na freshie pa ako. So, without further ado, let's go! I have six tips here guys and I'm going to start with my first tip which is to memorize and I think this skill applies to almost all of the health ally professional courses out there and for me pharmacy itself is already a memorization driven na course talaga kasi ang dami nating kailangan alalahanin at i-memorize kasama na doon yung mga brand names ng mga gamot yung mga generic names nila and with different subjects merong mga structures na ko kapag dadaanan niyo yung mga medicinal organic chemistry or organic chemistry na subjects magfo-focus talaga kayo sa mga structures and even sa mga pharmacognosy na subjects biochem basta guys mahalaga talaga sa inyo ang memorization skills alalahanin niyo yan parate mga scientific names and nag nagdala talaga ako ng libro para dito ito yung a uh, libro namin nung first year so dosage form to this tackles yung mga dosage forms mga powders tablets capsules kanyan and yung prof kasi namin doon ang daming pinapa-memorize sa amin kasi yun yung quiz niya so ito ito yung mga terms na pinapa-memorize niya sa amin na hina-highlight ko and akalain niyo yun parang ilang pages pa to memorize namin lahat yan guys oh Nakaka-stress talaga. I have here my biochem book. Basta ang daming mga structures na inaano sa amin na dapat maging familiar kami. Halimbawa na lang itong structure dito. Ano ko makikita niyo ba 'yan? Yan yung mga structures na 'yan. Kailangan niyo alalahanin 'yan because it's very important as you build your foundation on the higher subjects na ma-encounter niyo as you go to your higher years. So, kung feel mo sa sarili mo na super sure na sure na sure na sure ka na talaga sa memorization driven skills mo, then pwede ka na talaga sa pharma. Second tip, guys, start ang feeling ko. Ayun, calculations are very important and In terms sa calculations ng pharma, halos lahat ay iikot talaga sa ratio and proportion. So, dapat ma-master nyo yung skill na yun, guys. To be honest, almost all of the solutions that you're going to encounter involves ratio and proportion. At ma-apply nyo rin yan in different fields of pharmacy, including community, hospital, and even industrial pharmacy. Pero aside from mastering ratio and proportion, you also have to consider of memorizing different formulas kasi... Meron din tayo mga subject katul ng quality control one or pharmaceutical analysis one kung tawagin formally. Yung mga formulas don will really be about molarity, normality, ayun nga sa mga concentrations. Siguro may mga na encounter narin ka yung mga videos before na sinasabi isa sa mga misconceptions sa mga tao about pharmacy is walang math sa pharma. Well, actually, guys, meron talaga and it is widely used in all. Almost all, siguro, almost all of the fields of pharmacy. Kaya, very important yan. My third tip is to apply what you have learned in everyday life. Sinabi to sa akin ng prof ko when I was in my second semester of my second year. Tinanong ko kasi siya, Sir, paano po ba kayo nagme-memorize? Or paano nyo po ba naalala lahat ng mga natutunan ninyo? Tapos sabi niya sa akin na, It's by putting into use what you have learned in an, in everyday life. Like, araw-araw, kung halimbawa may mga tao kang maka-encounter na ganito yung sakit, ano ba yung mga gamot na iniinom nila, parang ganyan. So, you would actually use what you have learned in school to the real life setting. Kasi, oo nga, nandiyan na tayo, natuto ka na sa professor mo na ganito yung mga terms, ganito yung mga concepts, but at the end of the day, if you don't apply it, and if you don't use it, you will find yourself again trying to reach out the book or your reviewer and trying to review again kung ano nga ba yung concept na nandun, kung ano nga ba yung term na nandun, kasi nakalimutan mo na eh. Natutunan ko yun in a very hard way. Char, may pa hard way. I'm thankful kasi mayroong group chat kami ng mga college friends ko and then dun nagsishare sila ng mga prescriptions, mga gamot na tinitig 
ng mga families and friends nila. Siyempre, kapag may mga tanong, we will share our insights, ganyan. So, parang napapractice namin yung mga natutunan talaga namin all throughout the years as we study in our course. Number four is use your time wisely. And I just want to say that college is not puro aral lang or study first. <laughs> Kasi it's also a time of finding yourself, trying to improve your skills, and building camaraderie with people you are yet to know. Which is why you also have to join organizations for that. Alam niyo ba, in my experience kasi from my first year and second year of college, kasi yun yung mga time na face-to-face -face pa. I joined an org once, pero hindi rin ako nakatagal. Because I'm afraid that those certain organizations will interfere with my studies. Kasi first year pa lang, ang dami na namin quizzes, assignments, at hindi talaga ako sanay. Kaya parang sabi ko nun sa sarili ko, alo, ayoko na kasi konti na nga lang yung time ko para sa pagpapahinga. Konti pa yung time ko na maalat ko to review if I'm going to join organizations. As years pass by, parang nagsisi ako, no, alo, sana pala nag-join ako, especially with my dream organizations before na Tomcat and The Varsitarian. Kasi sa Tomcat, pangarap ko maging host ng sa university. Nako, pangarap ko yun. And then, with The Varsitarian kasi nga, mahilig akong magsulat. Eh, hindi nga natuloy kasi I was very afraid. But I found out that the key to that is just simply time management. And honestly, yun lang talaga yung answer, guys. Because na observe ko yun sa mga klasiko who are really good at time management because up until now yung mga sinalihan nilang organization ng first year nandun pa rin sila ngayong fourth year na kami so time management lang talaga ang kailangan niyo just balance the time that you can invest in joining organizations with the time that you can invest in doing your academics so always find that balance Balik na naman tayo sa academics, guys, because my fifth tip is to be familiar of the different types of questions that you may encounter. At yung mga different types na yon involves multiple choice questions, identification type of questions, enumeration, at ang mahirap talaga na Morse type and case analysis na questions. Different professors kasi have different ways as to how they do their quizzes and exams, kaya dapat talaga maging mindful kayo doon. And in terms of the questions that I've encountered throughout my college life, hirap na hirap na hirap na hirap na hirap. Ako talaga sa Morse type of questions and sa mga case analysis na questions. It takes a lot of analyzation skills if you're going to encounter questions such as Morse type and case analysis. Lalo na yung Morse type, guys. Diyos me. Alam nyo ba yung mga questions na parang May A, B, C siya. Tapos parang may statements doon. Tapos yung choices niya talaga is, about shade this letter if A is correct, B is false, parang ganyan. Tapos meron pang mga higher levels of Morse types. At yun talaga yung super nakakalito. Ayaw ko talaga siya na question types, pero very fond din kasi yung mga board exams daw sa mga ganong type of questions. Kaya siguro yung prof namin na yun, pinapractice kami, sa pag-a-answer ng mga Morse type. And yeah. And for my sixth and final tip is to use your basics as weapons. Kasi babalikan at babalikan nyo yung mga topics and concepts na yon as you go to higher subjects in pharmacy. Baka rin tanongin nyo ako, paano ninyo malalaman kung basic ba ang isang topic or isang concept? First is, madalas siya siyang narinig through different subjects na binabanggit ng mga professors, lalo na kapag sinabi nila na dapat alam na ninyo ito class. Yon, it's already considered a basic. Pangalawa, for one specific na subject, doon umiikot yung mga concepts. And lastly, yung mga topics or concepts na yon are known to be foundations kasi hindi nyo maintindihan yung mga higher or deeper levels na mga uh, knowledge kung hindi kayo magsisimula doon sa basics which are far more foundational at magagamit niyo para mas maintindihan pa yung mga higher subjects na yun. So, ayun lang guys for our video for today and I hope naging helpful yung mga tips na shinare ko sa inyo as you embark on your own pharmacy journey. If you enjoyed this one, kindly like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos such as this. Till we meet again guys, bye!